A seagrass solution. A researcher at Florida Oceanographic Society in Stewart says he may have found answers that could possibly help aid in seagrass restoration. WPTV's Tyler Hadfield, he listened to him about why his research is vital to learn more about strengthening our waterways. By measuring oxygen levels in one specific type of seagrass, one scientist at Florida Oceanographic Society explains to me it's helping to find strategies for seagrass restoration. Wandering yeah. through rows of seagrass at the Florida Oceanographic Society in Martin County. I grew up on the waterways. Nate Wynn, since 2021, has been studying turtle grass in the Florida Bay. We were looking at the gas dynamics and its ability to protect itself against phytotoxins such as hydrogen sulfide. Threats like hydrogen sulfide occur from high stressors in the environment, like high temperatures and algae blooms. It's a toxin to them. To protect themselves, seagrass typically would take oxygen they produce and export through their roots into the sediment, but it's not always working. Large scale seagrass mortalities are still occurring. But through Nate's research, he found that turtle grass has a new strategy. We saw that it was preserving its oxygen. A method, it's another step further for seagrass research. That could aid in seagrass restoration in Florida waterways, like the Indian River Lagoon. So knowing which grass species possess this adaptive feature could definitely help aid in restoration. Because now Nate tells me they know one size doesn't fit all. The more diversity that we can find among the organisms can increase its resilience. Restoring seagrass, Nate tells me, is vital for its survival. Strengthens the ecosystem in our waterways. For any marine species that depends on them for food or habitat. Tyler Hatfield, WPTV News.